to all that's watching. I'm sitting here trying to wake myself up and have my morning coffee and trying to get myself going. You've just watched the Farming Simulator 19 New American Map uh, Ravenport. Um, there's been, I know there are several people out there who's already put their versions up or whatever and uh, you know I was just trying to, to do my thing and I've seen a few of them and I waited a couple of days not not because I wanted to but because I had to we've, we've had a, a storm come through and blew some limbs down and stuff and um, it's been hectic around here people coming in and out dogs barking just utter chaos it seems like and uh, this is the actual first time that I've sat down and had some quiet time to do this video um, <clears throat> anyway aside from all that let's uh Let's try to uh, see a little bit, and, and I'm, I'm having to record this actually off of a YouTube video. Uh, for some reason, OBS is not cooperating today and letting me, letting me do a, a video capture of it. And uh, unfortunately with me, I'm having to have notifications turned on because of Google and all their stuff. Anyway, without further ado. We come into the first scene, and it's really nothing extravagant. We just kind of get a, a wide span view of the background, uh, see that there's obviously there's hills there, and looks like there's a few structures down here at the bottom. We come into the town's view. Uh, again, nothing too exciting. Here we come across uh, some of the farmland, and it's been noted that there's two tractors sitting out here in, in the back field. Um, me and a couple of guys had a discussion about this, and we're thinking that these are going to be some type of a case tractor. Um, they look awfully familiar to a 1455, but we're not sure yet. They, one of these also makes an appearance later on in the video. But uh, here we have a cornfield. Uh, looks like a machine shed here, or, or some type of a storage shed. Um, a few structures around the farmyard, like a bird flying. Yeah not bad and I'm gonna pause this several times just so I can because the video goes by really quick um, we have a cotton field here uh, looks like there's a church in the background here we have uh, another wide span view of some of the fields um, I'm not sure if this is a field or if that's water. I can't. I can't really tell. Um, nothing really gives it away. I mean, it kind of looks like dirt, sort of. I don't know. Uh, here we have a windmill. Now, I'm not gonna lie and say that that I've never, I've not ever seen one here in the U.S. So. This does kind of look a little European, but then again, um, who knows? There, there may be some windmills of this type that may not exist today, but did many, many years ago. Here we're coming into the view. Uh, have a train, obviously, a lighthouse, a water tower. Looks like some structure in back here, maybe some silos. 
some type of a storage perhaps here we come into a view of the church now I watched um, let's see who was it I watched I think it was Daggerwind and he was saying something about uh, it would be cool if we were to get some type of the uh, ability rather to fix and repair broken items in game uh, yeah that would be cool but I don't think that's going to be the nature uh, I mean yeah, I don't I don't think I don't think if we've gotten if we if we can get to the point of, of repairing buildings then I think we should get to the point of having a dynamic ground um, we're very close because if you you know if you've been following along like I have the placeables when you put them down the actual ground conforms to the, the placeable so you're we're very 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 close to the whole dynamic ground thing so I'm hoping that if if later on if not now um, it's too soon to say because the game's not out things can change things can can break through and miracles can happen uh, but it would be cool to have both a dynamic ground and the ability to repair This has been pointed out in a few, a few videos as well. This is like some type of a, a junkyard, scrapyard, whatever. Really of no significance. Um, I mean, there could be 101 possibilities to what this could do for you, if, 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 if anything. Um, but right now, it's too soon to say. Here we have a what looks like a wooden trestle type bridge uh, that a train would come across. However, this is just like a, a normal bridge um, that looks big enough for a car to fit through, but I don't know if a piece of equipment would be able to come across this or not. And secondly, I don't know that structure wise if it would be uh, strong enough because it appears to be that there's a maybe a hole right about here and a hole right about there and then there's a section of, of siding that's missing so it would be cool to to be able to fix this stuff don't don't even think that it wouldn't because it would here we come into a view of what looks to be like the back side or maybe a side view of the church uh, the roof looks like it's had some damage. Um, we've got a dolphin right here. We've had, obviously we've had uh, palm trees. Um, it looks very. Some of it looks very tropical. Some people said that it looked kind of reminded them of like Southern California. Some people even said that it looked kind of like uh, parts of Florida. <clears throat> I don't know. Um, I've never been to Florida, and I sure as hell haven't never been to California um, that I do know that both places have some type of a palm tree um, and then the dolphin seems to be some type of a, a center point like a, a, vi a focal center point um, to this what looks to be a really good looking little garden type area it's unfortunate the roof is busted though Did we skip a... let's see we have another bridge here looks to be like a draw bridge maybe the lighthouse which was seen in another view uh, there's a road underneath that's about it uh, there's the windmill again train going across an actual train trestle uh, is this has been kind of like a I don't know if it's a meme in the in the making or what but the little sand castle here was discussed about all over of, uh, John's discord 
and somebody even went ahead and made a little uh, sandcastle icon or emoticon uh, talking about having uh, sandcastle simulator and stuff. I mean, it was just kind of funny. Uh, but it's a nice view. I mean, you get a you know, your beach area, train, background mountains and stuff. It looks like the train is actually just getting ready to come into town. See, I think I think the whole town area is actually a lot smaller than it appears. And everything away from it and around, like out and about, is going to be farming area. I think that there's going to be a few sell points here. But this actually, in my opinion, it gives the map some life. Uh, it's not as, as dull and depressing as previous maps have been. And here we have what appears to be or, uh, a farmhouse. Uh, I'm not sure if this is part of the... It, it looks like there's a field in the background there. Or... If it's not a field, that's a piece of plywood. It's kind of hard to say. Um, let me... Oh, Jesus. Okay. Well, that's not going to work the way I wanted it to work. Um, we have opening doors. You can see that it has an interior of some type. Um... Yeah, I mean, it's just an overall damaged, older house. It's in need of some repair. Uh, there's been talk about, you know, can you upgrade? Will you be able to upgrade? Will you be able to repair? I mean, there's a long, li long laundry list of things that people have said so far about it. And, uh, you know, I just wanted to give my input. Honestly, I think that it would be cooler to start off with the very minimum um, and you know if you get one farmhouse fine you can at least if you're able to repair it that would be great um, if not maybe you'd be able to sell said house and build a new one or buy a new one I don't know and here's some more of that beach view. Um, some people have, have wondered why did Giants go so far as doing all the detail work to the beach and, you know, kind of like not show as much about the farmland stuff. Well, I think, in my mind, the way I look at it, it's like they want... They want to show off what they can do as far as a detail aspect, but at the same time, they want to keep the farming area a little bit secretive. Maybe. Maybe. I don't, I don't know. Maybe they're just not ready to go all into that yet and, and, and just give everybody the whole outlook on what how, you know how many fields you're going to have and what the farm's going to look like. And, you know, you got to keep some of the stuff hush-hush. Looks like uh, another part of the town. Looks like a driveway going into some type of a cell point or something, perhaps. Um, the one thing that I have pointed out, you know, that, that I thought in my mind that was kind of weird looking, and, I, and I'm not sure why it was done, and you know, it, it is what it is and what it's going to be. But how come none of the, the power poles, if we have wires just coming up, going up to your transformers and uh, your lights and stuff like that, how come they don't go from pole to pole? Because here in the, in the United States, we do have light poles that have wires that goes from pole to pole. And I'm sure the UK and everywhere else does too. It's just that it looked kind of weird to me. 
I don't know. Uh, now here's an area that appears to be uh, the back side of, there's a building right here. To me this looks like a, the back area or side area of perhaps a horse training area. And maybe this is right here is like a, a stable or something. I don't know. But we have a, some of the trees and hills in the background. We're coming across that bridge that it looked to be like a draw bridge earlier, but now to me it looks just more like a walking bridge. See, that's the, that's the thing because some some of the views and pictures that you've seen can kind of be deceptive. And you look at it from one way and you say, oh, well, that looks like a drawbridge. And then you look at it another way and that looks, well, hell, that's a footpath or a footbridge. I mean, you know, it could be, it could be that the bridge, there might be more than one. We've already seen a wooden one. Now we've got this one. And, uh, there could be another that I'm just not seeing. I don't know. Here we have what appears to be uh, there's a road right here coming into a dirt path and then a dirt path leads and uh, somebody had said something about these these uh, flagpoles and wanted, wanted to know what point did they serve. Well what if these flags was a guide for you to walk your horse like a, 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 a trail to ride your horse on or something I mean we don't know that would be my first guess is that maybe it's just the, this is just like a, a trail maybe you can race your horse who knows now here we have a the foundation cement factory and this is where things seem to be kind of weird for me. And the reason I say that is because we have what looks to be like a lot of industrial stuff, storage and in the background. And going back to what Daggerwin had said referring to the church and being able to repair it, what if we were able to get products to repair and cement being one of those products that would be cool um, I haven't done my research online so I was trying to remember um, how did we get lime where did lime come from and did it have any any significance to this factory or is this factory even something else that we don't know yet it all remains a mystery until the November 20th here we have uh, the back side of somebody's house um, it looks kind of like this is the, the another part of the town area Um, not really nothing else to see here. We have another field, which appears to be behind what may be a, a sail point or a storage area. It looks like there's a wall that's busted here. Uh, we've got the birds in the field eating seeds or whatnot. another view of the town area nothing real special to see here train coming across another bridge or maybe another uh, a bridge from earlier now that's the other thing too is as far as the train is concerned we've all known that in 17 that the train did play somewhat of a role but it would be nicer if it played a lot of the role 
if you had to move use it to move goods from one side of the, of the farm to the other or one side of town to the other or whatever to utilize the train a lot more than what it has been in the past that would be great um, not really anything else here that's catching my eye uh, looks like there's a tower or something here in the background and here we have looks like a silo area here in the background uh, we've had these before where you just go and you if you didn't want to uh, sell it right away and you had your your main farm was full you could take to one of these drop-off points and fill it up we have two combines harvesting what looks to be wheat um, not sure what this area right here is we have a lot of the, the hilly background going on mountains a um, couple of towers I'm trying to put this trying to get all these views and put this map together in perspective you, you kind of you're kind of trying to figure out where everything is and situated um, it's kind of hard We have another view of the town. Uh, looks like this might be a, a service station or something here. Uh, a little picnic area. Here we have some more of those flags. Now, to me, this might could be uh, a dealership or something. I don't know. Here we have the train crossing the bridge, another bridge. Now this obviously is a horse stable. And I'm not sure if this ties into that training area or not. That it just looks like a one branch off of a building somewhere. Um, there's a lot of people that, that seem to be getting kind of excited over this right here, and, and I don't really understand why. To me, it just looks like a, a piece of scenery. A little area where you can sit out, get some sun, have a nice cool drink, hang out and relax. And this here... A lot of people have said that they were wondering if it was a whale or if it was a dinosaur or something like that. To me, it looks like a whale. That's about it. Uh, it was just looks like a little uh, skeleton structure of a whale that's near a landmark, being a lighthouse. And maybe this is like a tourist attraction area or something. I don't know. There's another view of the little sand castle from earlier. Train going over. They, they captured this train a lot. A lot in this video. So it, it kind of makes you wonder, is the train vital? Is the train going to be utilized a lot more than what it has? You can kind of see like a little a wooden, I mean a, not a wooden, a dirt path going up under the bridge and into who knows could be going into the woods could be going into a piece of farmland it could be going anywhere matter of fact it could be coming up here coming up here and going around beautiful scenery lots of green now see this to me, it looks like that section of, of, or part of that horse stable area, or it might not even be connected together. It could be separate.
Yeah, see this. See this definitely looks like a, a horse stable area because of all the windows that are open. There's a little walkway here, then the fencing in the background. But you kind of wondered if the if the previous building and this one is somehow connected or or something. I, I'm not sure. Yet again, the train. And if you look real close, you can see the little floating dots right there, or floating icons, then the flags, uh, farm equipment, floating icons. You instantly think, oh, dealership. And see, the reason I said that I thought that maybe it looks to me like it's kind of flat up here, and as you follow it along, it kind of uh, drops off and yet the building stays the same it looks like there's like a driveway right about here where you can go down and into the town I don't know but that's what it looks like to me let me get a drink of my coffee here um we have some more field, cornfield. Looks like wheat or barley or something back there. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, tower, more mountains, lots of trees. Let's see, here's that second part of the farmland from earlier when I was talking about the tractor over here in the corner. But it's like you were standing up here looking down. And, uh, like, again, again, you know, it looks like a case 1455. And whether it is or not, it's unknown. Um, it's going to be interesting to see what all you can do. If this is the, if this is a piece of farm that you can buy or if this is the farm that you get when you first start the game who knows uh, let's see what all can we see in this view here not really anything spectacular um, some fields here in the background some buildings of some type, bridge, tower. Here we have the pier coming from the beach. There's that road going up that, that to me, again, it looks kind of like the dealership might be up here. Here we have the Patterson Stockyards, where you can buy your animals from. Um, this potentially right here could be a roundabout, which is, a, from my understanding, is a European thing, and it has come over here to the U.S. They are kind of helpful. Following the train tracks along into town. Uh, don't know if the train's coming this way or going that way and it's kind of hard to decipher what is north and south and east and west at this point uh, another view of the ocean another view of the pier someone also brought it to it you know brought it us to a point it's saying that they thought that the water didn't look good Water looks fine to me. It looks good. Um, I mean, I don't, I don't really know if you're expecting uh, GTA 5 water or, uh, you know, I mean, there's only so many different ways that you can make water, and depending on the type of game it is, there's only so many ways that you can model it and render it and make it work. 
but this looks like the backside going to the pier crane right here you can offload something yeah that can, there's a container ship in what appears to be either a tugboat or maybe a fisherman's boat or something Now, wouldn't it be cool if you could, like, if the container ship were to, to able, were to be able to port and you'd be able to offload stuff from it to it or sell to it or something? That would be cool, man. So, you here, now you look at that. You tell me. You got the water itself and and I think the point that that this person was trying to make was was saying that they felt that the water should have waves coming like crashing in and stuff and you know yeah that would be cool and all but again you know it's it's a different beast it's a whole different type of game and the focal point is not so much about the water it's about the game itself and you know every single time this game comes out they improve on something that they had not improved on before and people are still not happy it's very sad man very sad uh it looks to be like we got a, a shipwreck here <clears throat> and a lifeguard stand a little boat a buoy um the ocean water Looks like the water is running back out. Um, yeah, I mean it looks good to me. You know, don't get me wrong. There still could be improvements made, but man, it looks it looks good. I'm sorry, it looks good to me. And here we have a road coming up a hillside going wherever, and uh, several different types of lighting. Um, got some that's on the wooden poles, some that's on regular poles, and then these little postal uh, post lamps. Really neat. It's also cool how it, the light casts in its own area and then, you know, doesn't light up the whole street. And of course, as it, if it, as it gets darker, it probably looks a lot better. Yeah, like right here. So you can see where the light's shining, and there's a circle there, and right here, and you know, so on and so forth. This looks really nice. Someone even said and brought it up as saying this looked kind of, this did not look American. This looked European. I honestly can see a little bit of both. And I'm fine by that. It kind of, to me, it kind of gives like this downtown, old little town, um, street vibe, where if you were to roll into town and say, I don't know, 1950 or 1960 or so, this is kind of like the view you would see. Not all, you know, fancy pantsy and having all new stuff. It's kind of like an old school vibe. I like that. And here in the background, like we have, it looks like we have the moon. Um, little coffee shop. That's about it that I can see. And that is that. That is the end of the featurette of Ravenport. Um, overall, I like it. I had 
didn't I didn't see nothing about it that was gonna turn me away or turn me down or or anything of that nature. And again, as I said, you know, every year, well, not every year, but every time this game comes out, um, from all the way from 2008 up until now, if you were to sit here and say that things have not changed since the very first game, you, my friend, are a damn fool. And that's all I got to say about that. If you've liked what you've seen and you like what you've heard and you like my style of doing stuff, please consider subscribing. It would help me out a lot. I've got a goal I'm trying to reach 600. Uh, I'm currently at 543. I don't ask a whole lot, but it would be great if I could get to my goal. That is That is where I'm trying to get to right now. Uh, please comment and subscribe. Thank you. Have a good day.